This is Jeff at Wonko. Let's take a look at the new touchscreen controller that's on the speed trailer. Wonko's added the new touchscreen controller to the speed trailer to add a multitude of different functions. Let's go over a few of the functions that we've added to this new display. A couple things that you'll see is no more rotary knob. You have an on-screen display that shows what the messages or speeds are on the sign. You actually have a user login, so you got to have a password in order to operate the thing. We have a radar. We have a display. The display can actually display messages, and you can put your own messages on there, just like a standard Wonko message board. The only thing is you're at the liberty of the size of the display, how many LEDs you have, in order to be how big of a message do you want. We also have an option for the classifier, and we've also added into the classifier the capability to do it all from right here, and we've eliminated the need to do the smartphone uh, sync up and watch it from the smartphone. All of that could be done right here from the display. We've also added some on-screen alarms, battery voltages, information, and tool settings where you can set and program and, and change various features of the display, just like a Wonko message sign. Another feature of the new display is you can add a cellular modem to it and do all these things from the remote control of your office, just as if you're here at the trailer. So don't need to drive out to the trailer to do any of these features that we're going to show you. Everything that we're going to show you actually could be done remotely from a cellular modem. Now let's take a look at some of the basic operations of this new display. You have to log in. A, B, C, D. We all know that one from our message signs. We have opened up the lock. We have access to the other features. We can see that our radar is off, our display cabinet's off, and our classifier is off. In order to turn these on, very simple, radar on, display. Now we select. What do we want to do with our display? We can be a speed display showing numbers. We can be a message sign showing messages. We have the off feature where we're at now. And we have a demo mode. Demo mode is sometimes good for practicing, showing uh, other people how to use the thing. Pretty handy in some cases. Let's put it to speed first. So here we have the radar side. Radar is on. The display set to speed. We are showing a speed limit of 30 and excessive speed of 45. One of these things we can do now is we can change the speed limit. We can change speed limit, say, from 30. Let's say our new location is 35. We now have a 35 speed limit, and the excessive speed has changed up to 46. This is 33% over the posted speed is what we've set the excessive speed to be. But now we can actually change excessive speed, and if we wanted to say we want it to be 50, for excessive speed. Excessive speed is where you might show slow down, slow, stop. Whatever you want to say now is excessive speed. So you have the capability now to adjust excessive speed. And let's talk about the display for messages. So we're going to go from speed to message. And you can see display now says message. We have quick message and we have message menu. These are exactly the same as Wonko's changeable message signs. So if you want to see how to really get into the programming of these, please refer back to some other videos that have been done on the quick uh, messages and message menu on the touchscreen control. There's many other videos on YouTube to go look at. One thing you may have noticed though, when we went into display message, our radar is still running. So in some cases, if you're running a message sign, you don't need the radar on, so you can actually turn the radar off. And now we have radar off, but the message is still there running. The next thing to talk about would be display demo. Display demo is just going to pretend that we got cars coming into it 
We got cars being read by the classifier. We have messages. We have everything going. It's basically a good training menu to kind of get trained in how to run the thing or to show people how uh, they might want to use it. And as you'll notice, we, we got a speed limit. We got excessive speed. And over here, we're actually showing message on the sign. And that's assuming that we got cars coming in and we're running at, the, those are the speeds that the cars are coming in at. So we're showing that on the display. And they'll, those will change as the cars come and go. We're going to leave that running when we go in to show you the next thing, the classifier. Classifier could either be on or off when the radar is running. You can also turn the radar off and run classifier only and basically compare to see if the sign is basically slowing motorists down. To run a classifier without the sign, we would just turn the sign off, okay, and turn the classifier on. So now you can see that we have that the radar classifier is on, radar's off, display's off, classifier's running. So we're gathering all this information about the vehicles going past our, our unit, but we're not showing anything on the sign. The customers, motorists, don't see anything that's being displayed. We're just running data to, to classify things and to take traffic studies. And we have some icons over to the right here. We have uh, status, and that's basically telling us our alarms and warnings, and we can see anything that's going on with it. If we had an alarm, it would show us what is our problem with our alarm, whether it's a display card out, the warning, the temperature, photo cells. It would give us a number that we have a problem there, and everything's saying okay. We'll go to the next one, the little battery here. The battery is a great little feature, especially if you have the modem option, that you can go back and see what your battery voltages are, what your solar voltages are, your photo cells, what your sign uh, temperature is. TS is sign temperature. Uh, I sign is what the current of the sign is using, and your I solar is the current of the solar panels, what your power is putting in. We're indoors right now, so our solar is pretty, pretty darn low. So there we go. Uh, very useful information to keep track of what your battery voltage is and what your solar panels are doing. So very informational there. We can go back. Another icon is information. So we can select information and that's basically what some of the tech guys are going to ask you to do if you call them and you want, they want to know what's going on with the sign. Uh, they'll direct you to information and uh, they'll ask you to go to, do you have any alarms, what's your voltages, what's your IDs and software version. Uh, and if you have a modem, you can look at the modem information, what's going on there. So a very informational screen for uh, working with Wonko Tech Support. And last but not least, we have some settings here. The tools are for settings. And we're basically under uh, the login of guests, so it blanks out all the other things that you can do with it. Uh, you'll have to go to your uh, company password or your higher level password in order to get into the great areas. But as a guest, A, B, C, D, this is what you get into. We got devices and basically we got auxiliary power uh, for beacons, things of that nature, uh, cameras if you added a camera on the thing, or your classifier settings. And again, we've already gone through some of this uh, stuff in the classifier settings. But instead of on the front page, it's now buried into another menu. Hope this has been informative. And for more videos, always go back to see uh, Wonko's uh, videos that have been done before. And you can see them at www.wonko.com videos. Thank you.